Hello, grade 10s. We are going to explain what interest is and what is meant by interest rates. We will be looking at simple and compound interest and how they are calculated. And finally, we will show how we represent these two types of interest graphically. Let's start by joining Lebo and her teacher as they talk about saving money. Today, Lebo and I are going to be looking at another financial problem. Tell me about it, Lebo. I have drawn up a spending and savings plan, and I've been very good at sticking to my budget. But I'm not sure I'm doing the right thing with the 20 rand I'm saving each month. I've just been putting it in a box in my cupboard. There's already 80 rand in my savings box because I added the money I had allocated for gifts. I'm a little worried that the box could be stolen and there's always the temptation to take the money and spend it on something I haven't planned for in my budget. Those are both good points. A safe alternative to keeping money at home is to put it in a bank account each month. When you invest money in a bank account, you usually earn extra money as a reward for making the investment. The extra money you earn is called interest. Not all bank accounts give you the same interest. There are many different kinds of accounts that give you different rates and options. Banks also charge fees for making transactions. We need to find the most favorable savings option. I think it's best to go and visit a bank. You'll find that most branches have a financial advisor who will explain the different options to you. They also give you information about the interest you can earn and the services fee they charge. You go along and collect all the information from the bank and then we'll use maths to work out the best option. Sounds like fun. I'll go to the banks at the mall and I'll come straight back with all the information. Okay, I'll see you when you come back. Okay. Bye, Mrs. M. Lebo made some good points about saving money. It's a good idea to keep it safely in a bank account than in a box. When we put money into a bank account, we are usually paid interest. This is an amount of money the bank pays us for being their customers. The more money that is in the account, the more interest it will gather. This is because the bank pays you a percentage of the money that is in the account. There are two types of interest calculations, simple interest and compound interest. These can be added to both savings or investments and loans. Let's join Mrs. M as she explains this in more detail. Banks reward their customers for keeping money in the bank by paying them interest. The interest the bank pays the customer is always calculated as a percentage of the balance of the money in the bank at a particular point in time. Look at this example. Every six months, a thousand rand earns interest of 5%. How much interest is earned after six months? This is an example of simple interest. The calculation is also quite easy. The interest on the money is 5% of 1,000 rand, which equals 5 divided by 100 multiplied by 1,000 rand, which equals 50 rand. Every six months, 50 rand of interest will be added to the money in the account. Do you remember another way to work out the total if the investment increases by 5%? For an increase of 5%, we multiply the total by 105%. 1,000 rand times 105% equals 1,050 rand. The reason this is called simple interest is that the amount of interest earned is only calculated on the original amount. In this type of investment, 50 rand is added to the total every six months. This table shows how the total increases over time. After six months, the total is 1,050 rand. After 12 months, the total is 1,100 rand. And after three years, the total is 1,300 rand. In this example of simple interest, 50 rand is added to the original starting amount every six months. Banks do not use simple interest. They calculate interest on the total amount in an account. That includes the original money, plus any other interest that has been added on. 
This is called compound interest. Let's see how the totals change if I use the same investment and interest rate as before. But now calculate compound interest on the money in the account. After six months, the interest added is the same, 50 Rand. For the second six months, the calculation is not done on the initial investment of 1,000 Rand, but on the total after six months. We calculate 5% of this total. 5% of 1,050 Rand is not 50 Rand, but 52 Rand and 50 cents. The total after 12 months is then 1,102 Rand and 50 cents. Can you work out the missing values for the table? I calculated 5% interest on the original amount plus interest added after the first six months. In this way, you earn interest on interest. We call this a compounding effect. Every time interest is calculated, it is calculated on a bigger total. And so every time interest is calculated, the interest is a bigger amount. The total after three years is not just 1,300 Rand, as we calculated for simple interest, but 1,340 Rand and 10 cents. Those calculations showed us that when we invest or save money, it is better to find a bank that will do it at a compound interest rate. That means we will get more money out. It would be better to take out a loan that charges simple interest because then we would pay back less interest than a loan that charges compound interest. Let's do a problem together. John has 500 Rand to invest. This is known as the principal or initial amount. He invests the money for one year. This is the investment period or the term of the investment. The simple interest rate is 4% per year. This is the rate at which the interest is going to be calculated. How much money will John have in his account at the end of the year? This means that at the end of the year, John will have an extra 4% of 500 Rand added to the initial 500 Rand. 4% 4 of 500 Rand is 20 Rand. Add this to 500 Rand and the total John will receive at the end of the year is 520 Rand. That was a pretty simple example, so let's make it a little more difficult. John decided to invest the 520 Rand in another account. The interest is 5% per annum and calculated on a simple interest basis. How much money will John have at the end of five years? The calculation is very similar to what we have just done. The only difference is the interest calculated is now multiplied by the number of years that the money is invested. Per annum means per year. 520 Rand times by 5% gives us 26 Rand. This is the interest the money will collect over one year. Multiplying this answer of 26 Rand by 5 for the 5 years that it is invested gives us a total interest of 130 Rand. Add this to the principal amount of 520 Rand and we get an accumulated amount of 650 Rand. We have just calculated the simple interest on a lump sum amount. The principal or initial amount does not change over the period of time and the interest is only added at the end of the investment period. We can see this on the table. The balance in the account stays the same until the end of the five-year period. At that point, all the interest is added. The next type of interest that we need to understand is compound interest. Compound interest is the interest payable on the principal or initial amount and any accumulated interest. In other words, compound interest earns interest on interest. Let's see what would have happened if John had invested 520 Rand at a compounded interest rate of 5% per annum for five years. This means that the interest earned during one year will be added to the investment at the end of each year.
This also means that John will be able to earn interest on his interest and thus earn more money than with a simple interest investment. 520 Rand multiplied by 5% equals 26 Rand. This is the interest at the end of the first year. 520 Rand plus 26 Rand is equals to 546 Rand. This is the new balance in John's account at the end of the first year. 546 Rand multiplied by 5% equals 27 Rand 30. This interest of 27 Rand 30 is now added to the previous capital amount of 546 Rand. This means that at the end of the second year, John has 573 Rand and 30 cents in his account. This process is of calculating the interest for every year on the accumulated capital amount at the end of the previous year is done now for another four years. Looking at the table, we can see how the capital value increases each year when the interest is added. At the end of the fifth year, John has 663 Rand and 67 cents in his account. When calculating interest, work slowly and concentrate to avoid making silly errors. Let's look at how simple and compound interest is represented graphically. A simple interest graph is a straight line as the interest is the same for each calculated period. We can speak of the interest being constant throughout the term. Compound interest represented graphically is a curved line that gradually becomes steeper over time. This graph shows how the value of the money increases at a faster rate. Don't forget that interest can also be charged on loans. When we borrow money, we need to pay interest on the loan amount. Thank you for joining me, Grade 10s. Remember, the task for this section can be found in the Finance Task video. You will also be able to learn more about finance on our website, www.mindset.co.za forward slash learn. Goodbye.